Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're looking at a Town Hall 13 Legend League layout for high trophy levels in Clash of Clans, so I hope you enjoy it. This base was provided by CCL of Base Building 101. He's a top base builder in the community. If you're interested in his pro base designs, you can check out his Discord server or Patreon in the description below. Let's look at the layout for a minute. We have the Town Hall on the bottom side, Eagle on the opposite side, and the Inferno Towers are spread out a little bit. Just like a typical anti 3 star layout, the idea here is to actually prevent any 3 stars on the base, and you'll be able to see that in a little bit when we look at the defense log. So let's take a look at the traps for a minute. So we have in the middle a lot of Seeking Air Mines, that's to prevent any healers or uh, E-Drags or Dragons from getting to the... Uh, opposite side of the base all the way all the way across the base and that's to prevent the air attack three stars and the yeti smash three stars then we have the teslas at the bottom with the spring traps uh, as well and that's usually the entry for the hybrid is somewhere at the bottom side actually and then the queen charge for the hybrid is usually on the right side so sometimes the right side the bottom right side that's where there's why there's a couple of seeking air mines uh by the sort of teaser by the town hall area and then there's also traps on the right side to slow down a queen charge as well from that side so and also the the spam attacks with the air is very common now so uh the seeking air mines in the middle were actually a late addition to the base post update in order to prevent those attacks from three starring as well so as you saw in the uh defense log no triples at all at 5600 trophies and i'll tell you that in the um 5700 range which is where i am now post update although i have to change i have to drop down a little bit not have to drop down but i'm not going to be gemming my heroes on all of my accounts so i'm just going to be doing that on my main account so going to be dropping trophies naturally a little bit but at 5700 range, for two counts I ran this base on, uh, four triples in total out of 16 attacks at the 5700 range. So that is quite, quite good for that type of base, or that type of uh, trophy level. But we have a attack right here. This is the hybrid attack. Usually queen charge on the right side, hybrid through the town hall area. That's why there's a bunch of traps there as well. So the CC for this base, I forgot to mention, is the Ice Golem, Witch, and 5 Goblins and 13 Archers as well. That may be that may be something that we could change after the update. I'm not quite sure what the most important uh, or the best CC is going to be for later, but for now this base is really good with that CC. Uh, so, well, I guess we'll just have to find out later. What kind of CCs are best in this new new meta? So this hybrid attack didn't quite get, get off the ground at all. Um, not having the king over on the far left side, uh, funneling past the town hall really hurt a lot for the miners, and they just couldn't get past the scatter shot. So you'll notice the scatter shot and the air defenses are actually spaced out from most angles from any sort of e-drag chain that's the idea of it but that also changes the pathing for the miners so the miners are actually less likely to go to those areas as well unless they're directly uh, on the path so next we have the mass e-drag attack from a trungak account the very famous um e-drag spammers that are actually really really um really success successful with that attack but here this space is really well designed for anti e drive so there's not really much he can do actually so he just spams him in from the right side and that usually gets the job done for a ran for a random base that you just find but for this kind of base that's pretty much anti-e-drag uh, in pretty much every way. 
makes it very difficult to get a high percent even. And having the Eagle Artillery raining down at the end really doesn't help at all for the E-Drags. So this is a very quick attack. Uh, I think it was just like a minute and a half. Usually E-Drag attacks are pretty quick, but this one's too quick because it just died out pretty quickly as well. So the last attack we'll look at is the Yeti Smash, which is by far and away the most popular Legend League attack, even at the 56 and 5700 range. So let's take a look at that one. Fairhot from Hammer. Fairhot 64. I wonder if that's 64 accounts, because that's quite a few accounts. Starting with a Warden Walk from the top right side. Cuckooloon on the cannon. It's also doing damage to it, since the Warden is tanking. Pippi Dragon and the Loon on the right side to funnel in, so he's going to drop the Yetis and stuff by the Inferno Tower. Waiting patiently for the Warden to be done with the funnel on the top side. Probably not going to wait until the Warden gets all the way to the Eagle, although that might be a pretty good idea. Ice Golem tanks for the for the Expos and helps the e -drag, or helps the Yetis and the Bowlers get straight straight into the base. So he's actually going in for the air defense area and wall wrecker into the Inverter Tower. CC meets him and slows him down a little bit. Early Warden ability saves the wall wrecker. And RC on the right side is able to keep the troops moving in. But the troops actually make it out uh, through, not through a hole in the wall, but we're actually, the rest of the defense, the rest of the defenses are so far away that they just decided to attack through the wall and go to the outside. But that might have actually been a blessing for this guy, since I'm not 100% sure if he would have got the town hall uh, if the heroes hadn't walked away. Since through the gap there in the middle of the base, that since since there is a gap there, it's possible that the heroes and stuff could have walked all the way outside, and since the wall wrecker didn't quite get there anyway, or didn't get quite to the town hall compartment, it would have actually ended pretty badly for this guy. And that happens quite often with the Yeti Smash entry from the backside. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.